song is called Give Me Back My Country or Give Me Back Namibia. I ended up in New York because then I was also appointed a swap of, swap of representative and I had to be close to to United Nations. So that's how I came to Fordham University. Combining uh, studies and kind of UN activity was very good. Tough, but good. And then, as I said, all campuses started to get uh, African studies. And within that African studies, my professor turned out to be Tilton Lamel. Lamel, you will check, he was a political science teacher. But I give credit to him. I was an African from African continent, as an African American. But I didn't know Africa. He taught me Africa, I keep on telling people. He taught me Africa and Pan Africanism. I knew about maybe Namibia, South Africa. That was it. And Ghana, because of independence of Ghana, talk about in Nigeria maybe, but the rest, I never knew anything about French speaking African countries until that professor was definitely my mentor. He took us through these African courses and I learned Africa from him. When I was taking an international law, international relations, that was my topic too. Uh, it was again also the Vietnam War question. And you had beautiful democracy that time. I really was impressed. I saw now these guys really going at it, you know. One is opposed to the war and it is argued legally and otherwise. The other one gets out and condemns the government for being in a in Vietnam War, immoral war, and this kind of thing. I said, oh, how can you think of how many is immoral, that kind of a thing. Those were all new concepts. But that was the era that America was, I think, at the best. As a beginner who came to learn how democracies work and so on, study the, that time, descent, you know, the, it was a war, black-white war, actually. Uh, then I was with the black power groups, you know, quite tough days, you know. I finished at Fordham University uh, and then I got an offer. Basically there was what is now called the United Nations Council for Namibia, which was kind of a government in exile. So I, we went to the UN, I was a petitioner, I was a representative, and we went to see Secretariat people, Mr. Jemakwe, they called him, and he says, you must give us one person to work with us here, because if they needed me, the resolution was saying it must govern Namibia with the maximum participation of Namibians. So therefore, I had to be that maximum participant. <laughs> so give us one person. My colleague, President, my colleague here. And I jumped, I said, no, uh, our qualification, what do you want? First degree. So I just got my first degree. And I was still hesitant, you know, why me? Just like that, no consultations. So my name was given just in public like that. That's the name, you know. And then uh, I delayed. They were asking me to come in. I said, no, I'm still busy. And eventually I reported on the 3rd of January, 1972. That's the same day they Kurt Waltham took over UN Secretary General's position. So I said, we started at the same time. Took the oath together, I claim. It is good to be back home. Our coming home today is a harbinger of the demise of over a hundred years of colonial subjugation.
it is the love for the motherland and the conviction in the ability of our people to one day free themselves from colonial bondage that has kept alive and burning in us the candle of hope during the long years of exile. Today, as we arrive back on the soil of our forebears, the land of Maharero, Ipumbu, Mandume, and Vetboy, we remember the fallen heroes and heroines of our revolution. 